Okay, hi, Glenn. Hello, Thanks. how are you doing? Thanks for chatting to us this morning. I'm an Open Energy Monitor customer. I have the system at home, but I know you've recently upgraded things. Can you maybe talk us through yeah, the changes? Yeah, sure. In the past few years, yeah, we've got a whole load of new, new hardware now, um, both on the, the hardware side and also on the sort of the graphing, logging and things. It's all, all, all open source. Um, so our main unit is this Emon Pi 2. Um, so it can be expanded up to a 12, 12 channel LG monitor. So yeah, that's you, 12 different circuits. You 12, yeah, 12, 12 AC circuits, and we've got a range of different current clamps. Everything from 200 amp, 100 amp, down to 50 amp and 20 amp. So you've got a whole range of different circuits. So you pick the um, clamp then that, that, that's specific to that type of circuit for the, the most accuracy. Yeah, yeah. So you can say monitor your main incomer with like a standard uh, 100 amp sensor your main import export, and then you can monitor your solar, maybe EVM battery with a 50 amp, and then monitor your, you know, your lights, your ring mains and things yes. with, a, with a 20 amp. Um, so for somebody get, who doesn't know, talk us through maybe what sort of information that could provide, for example, you know, if, if you wanted to see how much power you're putting into your EV. Yeah, so it's basically an independent, independent energy monitoring system which will work on any AC circuit. So if you're interested in being able to know, you know how, much you are, how much you're generating, how much you're importing, exporting, how much your car is using, and I have that data all in one place. And our system integrates with uh, things like Home Assistant. We've got that built into the core of Home Assistant, so it's an you know, easy way to get the data. I noticed uh, that in the, the latest update for yeah, Home Assistant. Yeah, you're, you're now, so, you're I mean, now. it's always been there actually for you know, quite a few years, okay. but it was always, you had to go in and like um, put in the YAML config, okay. but now it's all built into the UI, so you can just click, you know, Brilliant. Emon CMS, drag in, in select what feeds you want. That can give you a dashboard on your iPad or whatever. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. And, and so it makes see. it much easier to access the data, but yeah. as well as that, we have a lot of um, our own, you know, graphing tools which are being built from the ground up to be uh, to be able to like analyze and log power data and have quite large, you know, you can have five years worth of 10 second data wow. and zoom really quickly, zoom in and out. Um, down to like you, you, you know hour by hour, minute by minute resolution, or zoom right out. Fantastic. Uh, just sticking with solar for a second. This is our solar PV dashboard. Uh, so you can see that that's exporting. You know, on each day, how much you export, how much you use yourself, um, direct, or and how much you generate, and it gives you percentages of how much you've managed to use direct and how much you've exported from the grid, or how much you've had to import from the grid. Uh, and you can you can tap on a particular day, and you can see. The, this house has got a solar PV diverter. So you can see this morning it was diverting power into the hot water. Obviously this was uh, yesterday. Diverting power into the hot water, then by about mid-morning the hot water's full, and then it started exporting it to the, to the grid. Excellent. Um, and I guess you can make better, more informed decisions then once you have this data? Yeah, that, that's right. A big focus of us in the recent years has been heat pump monitoring. Because um, we, you know, we, we both installed our own heat pump a few years ago. And uh, you know, we, we, you know we managed to get a good performance out of our heat pump using monitoring to in quite an old stone like, house yeah, as well. In, in a house that you wouldn't expect to work well with a heat pump. Yep. And we, you know, we were comparing data amongst ourselves, and we had like an early version of this monitoring system. We thought that'd be really great if we could make this available to other people, yep. and also have a way to be able to share performance of your heat pump, so you could compare Brilliant. your house with like a similar house with a similar heat pump. Then I noticed you got um, a fantastic annual uh, cop figure. So, yeah, so my house is on here. So this is this is the platform that we set up, heatpumpmonitor.org. So it's like an open data set, really, of, heat, of real real world heat pump performance. Um, it, it's basically a, re, a, 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 sort of a resource to, to demystify heat pumps and make make available real world performance data. Um, so Great to have that. Two hundred and fifty systems on here now Brilliant. from all quite, over the country. Quite often you see information, um, and disinformation online around heat pumps, and that they don't work in the UK or whatever. Yeah. So this so clear there's a data clear here. way to show you. They, they do work, and they can get really good performance. Like for example, if you go on the cost page here, you know we can see the cost of heat delivered by these heat pumps. You know they're, they're delivering like heat at like you know four and a half, five pence per kilowatt hour. And you can uh, change the price cap. So you go, what, what if I was, what if I was on Octopus Agile, um, or what if I was on Ogro heat pump tariff? And you can see how that affects the, the, the you know, the running costs. Um, so, excellent. And you need a heat meter installed for this, don't you? Yeah. So this is this is like the hardware behind behind that data here. Um, so we monitor the electrical input into the heat pump with a, with one or two electric meters, and then we monitor the heat output with a heat meter. And these work by that they measure the, the speed of the flow of the, the water around the system. And they also measure the temperature. There's a temperature probe there on the flow and a temperature probe there on the return. 
So if you know the two, you know, the temperature between flow and return and the flow rate, you can then calculate the heat, heat output. Um, and we read that with our, one of our data loggers um, by MBUS and, and, and Modbus. Excellent. And, and this can be done wirelessly? Yeah, so then that creates, what, what you can see then is like, if I go into one of these systems, this is my, this is my own system, you can see like two years worth of heat data, winter putting in heat. Um, the purple line here is the, the outdoor temperature. So you can see as the outdoor temperature drops, the heat pump has to put in more heat. And we can zoom right in here, maybe have a look at the cold, coldest day of the year when it went down to, you know, minus three degrees. And you can see how much heat the heat pump's putting in. You can see what the internal room temperature was. Um, so yeah, it's basically, you know, de demystifying what the heat pump is doing um, at any given time. And you can see what, you know, what the CFP you're getting for hot water. That's a little hot water cycle. Well, it's heat, heat, heating up my tank um, with hot hot water there. So there's all all sorts of information you know you you, you 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 can get from this, and it's a really useful tool to like help you optimize your heat pump. Yes. Um, it's quite easy uh, to see exactly what it's doing, so you can make a change on the control and maybe drop the flow temperature or yep. change your schedule, and you can see has that you know has it made it work better. And so you can quite you know quite easy. How many are in the team? Um, it's probably, uh, you know, we're quite a small team and day to day there's maybe about four of us in the, in the office there, but being open source lets us work with lots of, you know, we get lot open source code contributions, um, you know, from all, o all over the world because all our hardware is op fully open hardware and the software is all, all open source, all this data logging platform. Fantastic. So we work, you know, I think that allows us to have a much greater reach than if we were just fully closed source developing everything ourselves. Of you know, we get to have yep. other people submit. Fantastic. And submit where should people go to find out more of that? So it's all um, on openenergymonitor.org is, is our website, or, or heatpumpmonitor.org to see all the heat pump, the open data set of heat pump data. Brilliant. Um, Thanks for chatting to us. Cool. Thank all you. The best. Thank Cheers. You.